Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to verify list of users response in Playwright Python API testing. Okay. This is a simple concept I'm going to explain you. Okay. In the previous video, we saw about how to set up our Playwright into our local and as well as in this PyCharm. Okay, after that, how to run your first test case. This is an example I showed that. Okay, now we are going to see for the list response we are going to verify. For this, we need to make it for test list response. Okay, and the list, what are the things we need to do it for the import and everything I showed in the previous also from Playwright and sync APIs, okay, input a sync playwright. This is the one we are need to import it. And then we need to make it for test underscore a response. This is my function. The function place, we need to create the object of playwright and the response of sync playwright, okay? And we make it for colon, then we need to create for our new contest request okay for this we need to make it for playwright dot a request and then we need to make it for new context the new context also we can able to pass for base url a base url is nothing but this one up to here starting position is there right this particular one we can able to pass it into the new context location also it will refer those value okay while we are making for the request for get location place i make it for context okay and then we can able to use it for context and we need to create for get function okay here also it will accept for url directly you can able to pass for the entire url here or you can able to pass it from base url here and remaining url here the both the cases it will work as expected okay i'm making for get list of uh, users response if you hit this particular one page okay it will give you this particular information okay the page one it will provide this is the information we'll see in this information and new context location, this particular one, and then remaining information, I'm going to pass it here. URL. And we need to pass it here. And then comma, params. And param is, we have like a page and one value, right? These two, we need to pass it here. Okay, now my param is ready. Not assign the function call. On minute, we'll see the syntax of this. Param value, 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 value. Yeah. 
here we get all the kind of information which is the one you want to pass and how we can even we can able to pass for the request url and fetching url and method function and multi parts like this also you can able to pass it okay query params so query params and that query params you need to pass it here okay query param uh, this is expecting for okay it is expecting like this and we need to make it here one this query param we need to pass it into here it's gone now and we need to make it for headers for header uh, i'm going to copying this particular year location even you can able to create for header here and you can able to pass how many params you have that many params you can able to pass it here and you can able to make it as request here it will accept it okay and then we can able to say directly i'm going to print it for uh, okay we are not getting for any response uh, variable not created here pending our uh, response door okay now i'm going to run it this particular function test list response dot py you can't take the one potential argument but it is taken two arguments now you can see the response is coming here we need to make it for base url and you need to pass the url and remaining you are looking able to pass it here and you can able to make it query parent this is the one and the response also is coming here now how to uh, remaining things we can able to similar format these assertions can able to do it okay and then what else we can able to do it we can able to do it by validating for a single value or else we can able to make it for multiple values verification okay first single value how we can able to verify means we can able to use for response which we are use at this particular one right the similar format we can able to use it which i create in the down right the response and which is a value we can able to the similar format we need to make it this particular one and before that i need to print whether which value it is coming from the location response zero dot a get and name this is the one we need to use it y zero means it will provide for a list of response values this is a list of response okay in the array format in that zero position means it will take for this particular name and it will give you for the name of that user which user it is going to provide in the response okay once we get the response in the based upon the response we can able to see whether what kind of value we need to verify this is a name we need to verify okay and i can able to make it for copying this name and going to here i can able to make the assert and use this name and equal equal and i can able to provide this entire information and i can able to hit this particular one now it got passed okay this is a one format but you don't know which position it will comes sometimes the response is act for multiple different ways of okay multiple ways it will act it 
I want to verify like multiple values, which is the values it is going to give you, right? That particular information you have to handle by using in automation side. Okay. You need to pass for entire information and enter response like all the values, which position your value is there. Once it is satisfied, then you need to come out of that. How we can able to take, I'm going to take the size first. And the size I'm going to make it for length. Length I made in a rest. Okay, this will take for the response size, how much it is there. If you print this particular size, you can able to see. You can see size is 10, it is there. Okay, 10 times I need to rotate for loop. For I, N, I'm going to make the range and the position it should start with the zero dot size place dot not comma. That is a comma, okay, not dot plus one because the range will take for a uh, zero to eighth position. We need to uh, fill for ninth position also. That's why we am going to make it for plus one, okay? Then I'm going to make for one if condition, okay? One if condition, which is coming for this name. Okay, this name and I'm going to make it for hard coding to normal way. And this particular call. And then I'm making for asset, again this value. Okay. And I will make for here also. I. Okay, then if it is satisfied, make it for brick then pass it okay this is the one we are going to make it now you can see now both the cases are passed okay now maybe you'll get it for this the first position maybe you'll get it for first value and maybe you'll pass it out then i'm going to make it in the last there is a vishnu boto this user And here also mention. You can see now. Out of range. Why? Any other user came in the last position? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten users are there. It is passed, okay? But uh, as we expected is a different format, I'm going to print for this response first, how many values are there in the response first. Okay, we'll see whether which value it is coming in the 10th position. Okay, it is coming a different name. See the tenth position is coming a different name. This is the one it is coming. That's why our test case is show for out of boundary. Belva Batu Biswa Bata. This will act every time the response is different, different. Okay, that's why it will fail sometimes. In your case, it will not do it. Okay. It is acting for different, different times. Each time it is providing for different values. Okay, now this is a one kind of way we can able to do it our uh, verifications for list of response and XML uh, still I didn't get any APIs 
which is complex or normal uh, XML responses. In case if you have something XML response APIs, any demo APIs, anything, please comment on this video. I'll make for one particular video for XML response also. Okay. I hope it this information will help you to learn for Python with a Python Playwright API automation. Thank you for watching. Please don't uh, forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and also sharing to your friends. Thank you.